Quick video for you today here guys. We're gonna find out whether or not you can realistically quench in canola oil. Had a lot of questions about this based on my last video and today we're gonna to find out once and for all. First I'll cut several test pieces out of 1084 high carbon steel. I'm running four tests here today with the first being cold canola oil at about 47 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm austentonizing at 1475 Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and following the same protocol for each test. The second test is heated canola oil to 120 degrees. Third test is going to be a straight water quench to give us a good control. The fourth and nastiest test is going to be used motor oil. A little bit of advice here, don't use used motor oil. You're going to see why in a second, but also this is going to make your shop smell like burnt motor oil for several weeks. That's just nasty. I'll grind each piece flat to provide a flat surface for testing. And run the normal million hardness tests. So I want to give you guys a little bit better visual here of where I tested on the test samples. So each one of these papers represents a test sample. And as you can see, the canola, we had 65. Seems like towards the middle, we got a lower hardness. And towards the edges, we had a slightly higher hardness. We had a lot of variability within the test sample itself, and we had a lower overall hardness. With water, our control, we had a very consistent 66 just about everywhere we tested. I did get a 65.5 in here somewhere that could have been because this is where I grabbed it with the, uh, with the pliers, taking it out of the oven, but very consistent overall with water. We got full hardness on this piece. With motor oil, we were absolutely all over the place. We had 44, 45, 49 in the middle. We had some 60s towards the edges and in the corners we had up to 65. Seems like motor oil is just not a super fast quenching medium whatsoever. We did however get to 65 in the corners. I think because these are uh, what hit the oil first and obviously the closer to the corner you get the quicker cooling capacity you have. So as we get towards the middle that cooling slowed down and that's why we see a lot of the uh, numbers there in the 40s. So motor oil is definitely a no-go and plus it still stinks in here. So that's why I think you're better off just using water over canola oil or any other type of oil if you don't have the proper quench oil on hand. Please hit the like button and subscribe button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.